Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 14, 2021. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. So it has fallen quite a bit at the end of the U.S. session. And now that when it has opened, it still continues to fall. So we may see this fall towards the middle of the bullish band where we found support the last time. 4,300, give or take. Drop below there, we have the 50 moving average down at 4,233. And then the bottom of the bullish band down here at 4,168. You can see that the MACD is kind of leveling off here. Whether or not it crosses the signal line, that is to be seen. Uh, but uh, momentum has kind of stalled at this current stage. Stochastic is flat and the RSI is basically becoming bearish at this point. So let's look at uh, the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones also uh, is uh, struggling here at... Uh, 35,000. MACD is still very bullish. The stochastic is bullish, but the RSI is leveling off here. We are still at 58 at the RSI, so there's not been massive movement to the upside recently. We did have this uh, uh, fight, really nice move on Friday uh, after this uh, pullback here, uh, but uh, people are buying the dips. So if this were to fall towards the 50 moving average, then it's quite likely that will bounce from there. Break below the 50, then to, that could open the door to 33,500, which is basically the bottom of the bullish band here. Break below that, and then 33,000 will come into play. Um, it kind of looks like we are going to pull back before going higher. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is uh, really struggling here. It went all the way up towards 14,900. Well, give or take, uh, 96. And uh, at this point, I would not be surprised if we had a pullback towards uh, the middle of the bullish band, roughly at 14,500, give or take, before going higher. So MACD, you can see, is uh, is leveling off here. Probably going to cross the signal line. That could be a signal that we are going to drop significantly to the downside. And there are also other warnings here that uh, these indices, especially the tech stocks, uh, or the indices with the tech for the NASDAQ will, you know, will start to fall significantly as the U.S. Uh, uh, Treasury bonds, they are they are up roughly 3-4% uh, today, 10 years. And the U.S. dollar is also appreciating is up more than half a percent today and is set to continue its rally. So this is a fairly bearish uh, candlestick uh, we are witnessing here at the end of the U.S. session. MACD, MACD is still bullish, but it is leveling off. Stochastic is flat, and the RSI is overbought at this point. If you look at the weekly, it is uh, kind of giving us a shooting star here. Um, and at this point, we are overbought also in the weekly. We are bullish in the MACD. Stochastic is uh, crossing the signal line, which is not a good sign. Last time we did that, we had this fall roughly. 14,100 all the way down towards 12, uh, 13,000. So uh, if we were to drop from here towards support, that's a drop of roughly 1,000 points. So let's look at the German DAX. Yes, German DAX also looks like is ready to pull back. It is trading at 15,785. MACD is bullish, the Kasik is bullish, and the RSI is flat. But we're running into the top of the bullish band, and um, recently that has been a warning. You can see it here, it has fallen. It may not fall all of a sudden, but it will, if we stay here for like three days, then it's a very good sign, very, uh, a warning sign that this may pull back before going higher. Otherwise, if 16,000 is probably where this will end up. Break below these. Candlesticks here, then we are probably going to target 15,000. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So UK FTSE also pulled back quite aggressively at the end of US session. And um, this could be a warning sign that will fall back towards the 7,000. MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is flat. By break below the 20 and the 50, then so if 7,000 uh, 7, comes into play, break below that, then we're looking at 6,750. 
Otherwise, a rally above this candle secure, then we can go to the top of the bullish band, which at this current stage is 7,189. So let's look at the China 50. So this is, uh, it did bounce off the 300 moving average, uh, has rallied today up towards 16,900, and then gave all of those gains back. So it may well be that we'll pull back towards the 300 moving average yet again, before going higher we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average um, tomorrow session or probably two days from now macd is still bearish and stochastic is bullish on rsi is flat so break below the 300 moving average then we're looking at 16,000, 15,000, and uh, yes that is uh, i wouldn't be surprised if that were to happen if we have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average you see that we have not had that crossing since basically over here this is uh, back in july last year and we had this amazing run to the upside and since then we have fallen towards the 300 moving average and break below here then this could really fall apart so hope you find it helpful you want to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much